Hi friends, uh, I am Nayan Patel uh, from Silver Rock Engineering College. Uh, I am working as an assistant professor in Silver Rock Engineering College. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, tracing of curve. How to trace the curve? Uh, uh, students know some standard uh, graphs, standard curves like uh, line, uh, circle, uh, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola. But most of students don't know how to trace the curve about uh, strophoid, uh, folium discards, uh, uh, like uh, cardioid, lemniscate. So, so today we will discuss about some minimum steps to trace the curve, uh, like okay. Uh, this is few steps to trace the curve. First step is uh, symmetry. Second is origin. Tangent at the origin, study of special points uh, like nodes, cusps, conjugate points, etc. Uh, find points of intersection with coordinate axis, and finally asymptotes. Uh, using these three uh, few steps, we can trace the curves. First, we will discuss about symmetricity. If equation is no change in equation if y is replaced by minus y, it means curve is symmetry about x axis. Same way, if there is no change in equation if x replaced by minus x, it means curve is symmetry about y axis. If the power if the powers of x and y both are even, it means curve is symmetry about x and y both axis, it is like a circle. Uh, if there is no change in equation, if y is replaced by minus y and x is replaced by minus x, it means curve is symmetry about positive quadrants. Um, and finally, uh, equation if there is no change in equation when x and y are interchange, it means curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line. Okay, uh, first point is origin. Uh, if the equation of the curve does not contain any constant term, then curve passes through the origin. It means, uh, for example, y square is equal to 4x. In this equation, there is no pure constant term. It means this, this curve passes through the origin. Tangent at the, pl at the plane. If the curve passes through the origin, then tangents at the origin are obtained the lowest degree term of equation equating to 0. Uh, for example, y square is equal to 4x. In this case, 4x is lowest degree term uh, is equal to 0. Then, in this case, x is equal to 0 is tangent, mean y axis is a tangent. Uh, now, double point uh, means special point. We have to discuss some points. Uh, there are three main points nodes, curves, and conjugate. Double point when two branches of the curve passes through a point, such point is called double point. Uh, nodes, first point is nodes. If the tangent are real and distinct, the double point is called a node. Uh, second is cusp. If the tangent are real and coincident, the double point is called a cusp. Conjugate point. Which type of point is called conjugate point? Means uh, isolated point. When a point is neither a node nor a cusp, then double point is called a conjugate point. Next point is, uh, we have to find the intersection with coordinate axis by taking x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 respectively. Okay. Uh, asymptotes, how to find the asymptotes? Uh, there are three types of asymptotes parallel to coordinate axis, means parallel to x axis, parallel to y axis and third point is uh, oblique asymptotes. Okay. Oblique asymptotes. Uh, to find the obli oblique asymptotes, we have to uh, read these three, three uh, five te steps. Now we will discuss about uh, some standard graph, strophoid, on tabletop.
how to trace this trophoid now one by one we check the steps our first step is we have to discuss about symmetricity in this case we can uh, we can write this equation by this way also minus x cube means a y square minus a x square is equal to okay to check the symmetry uh, symmetricity uh, in this case equation there is no change in equation if y is replaced by minus y it means uh, curve is symmetry about x axis now second point is origin in this equation uh, there is no any pure constant term it means equation does not any constant term means curve passes through the origin third point tangent at the origin how we can find the tangent at origin as about discussion uh, to find the tangent at origin the lowest degree term of equation equating to 0 in this equation what is the lowest degree term in this equation lowest degree term is there are two lowest degree term of equation a y square minus a x square equating to 0 then we can write y square is equal to x square it means y is equal to plus or minus x we have total two tangents at the origin y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x ok now our next point what will be the next point ok some special points ok in this case there are two tangents y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x y is equal to minus x these two tangents are real and distinct it means in this case this point is called double point is called node next point uh, intersection with coordinate axis how to find the intersection with coordinate axis to find the intersection point with coordinate axis take x is equal to intersection point take x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 respectively in this equation in this equation take x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 respectively if I take x is equal to 0 take x is equal to 0 then we get y is equal to 0 and take y is equal to 0 then we get y is equal to 0 then we get x square a minus x is equal to 0 it means x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a we have two options x x 0 0 0 and second point is a 0 means get two intersection point with coordinate axis sixth point sixth 
next point is we have to decide asymptotes. In this case, curve is symmetry about x axis, then we have to find the asymptote uh, parallel to y axis. How to find the asymptote parallel to y axis? To find the asymptote parallel to y axis, uh, highest degree term of y equating to 0. In this equation, highest degree term, highest degree term, uh, sorry, the coefficient of the highest degree term equating to 0. In this case, the coefficient, coefficient of highest degree term of y is, is a plus x means co we can write this equation by this way ok in this case the uh, coefficient of the highest degree term is a plus x is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus a is asymptote asymptote ok now we can trace the curve using these six steps and curve like uh, curve looks like ok here we can see uh, first point our first point is symmetry in strophoid curve is symmetry about we have discussed a curve is symmetry about x axis it means curve is symmetry about x axis uh, second point is origin we know that this curve is passes through the origin it means this point origin is 0 0 third point was tangent at origin in this case uh, there are two tangents x is equal to y is equal to x y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x Four point special point your mentions special point y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x are tangent and special point is node now intersection point there are two only two intersection point with coordinate axis one is origin and second is a0 and last is asymptotes asymptote is nothing but tangent at infinite point asymptote is tangent at infinite point we can see here x is equal to minus a is asymptotes ok similarly now we will discuss uh, polyam discard Okay. Okay. First of all, we have to discuss symmetry. In this example, in this case, uh, equation is x cube plus y cube is equal to three a x y. There is no change in equation if x and y are interchanged. In this case, if we change uh, interchange x and y, then equation is unchanged. It means curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line. Y is equal to x line. Now, next point is origin. In this equation also, there is no constant term in equation. It means curve passes through the origin. Okay. What will be the third step? Third step is tangent. find the tangent at origin the lowest degree term of equation equating to 0 in this case lowest degree term is minus 3 a x y this equation we can write way this way x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y is equal to 0 here the degree of first term is 3 the degree of second term is 
थ्री एंड द डिग्री ऑफ थर्ड टर्म इज टू पावर ऑफ एक्स एंड पावर ऑफ वाई मीन्स दिस इज लोएस्ट डिग्री टर्म इक्वेटिंग टू जीरो लोएस्ट डिग्री टर्म इक्वेटिंग टू जीरो वी कैन राइट एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर आर टू टेंजेंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स वाई एक्सिस एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स एक्स एक्सिस ओके देर आर टू टेंजेंट एट द ओरिजिन वाई एक्सिस एंड एक्स एक्सिस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फोर्थ स्टेप Our fourth step is special point. Okay, uh, special points in this case x and y axis are tangent. Same way, this x axis and y axis are real and distinct. It means this point, double point, is called special point. Means the nodes. Okay, now find the intersection with coordinate axis how we can find the intersection with coordinate axis by taking x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 respectively in this equation if we take x is equal to 0 then we get y is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 then we take y is equal to 0 same way similarly if we take y is equal to 0 then we get x axis x is equal to 0 then there are only one intersection point 0 0 is only intersection point with coordinate axis okay. next point what will be the six, six point asymptotes we have to find asymptotes also Okay, in this case we have to find asymptote. Mm, there is no asymptote parallel to x-axis and parallel to y-axis. So we have to find asymptote, oblique asymptotes. How we can find the oblique asymptote? 